Hey everyone, I'm Melinda Lazinski. And I'm John Force. And we are two artists from Box 13 Art Space in the east end of Houston, and we're going to be doing a walkthrough with you today of our two current exhibitions on view. We have Vote Blue Sky by Claire Drennan and The Distance Between by Elaine Bradford. These are both two Houston-based artists. So we're going to start with Claire, and her work actually starts outside from the street view, so her work is called Vote Blue Sky. Right. Guess where the name came from? Um, so her work is made from uh, found textiles, and actually a lot of the, the blue textiles um, were given to her by her grandmother, so they were inherited, which is super cool. Um, and then we're going to look inside the space. So what we got going on here, we're in our window, so you can see from the inside. So there's a lot of... Um, textures, different shades of blue, quilting. So with Vote Blue Sky, Claire wanted to um, blur the edge between the sky and the street. So you're looking at it. It's uh, overstuffed textiles, isn't it? Textile stuff with more textiles? Textile and textile. And textile this, and textile action right this there. This piece is dope. This is my favorite, I think, Claire. Um, I love a good corner sculpture, so I'm really, really into that one. And here we have some I mean, I would call them paintings. Wall-based um, work. <laughs> Wall-based work. And these are made with uh, dead stock textiles, uh, which I think is really cool. And what exactly is dead stock? I think that it means that it's not produced anymore. Ah, limited. It's a limited edition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then these are two pieces that might be um, more familiar if you're familiar with, Claire, with Claire's work. Um, I really enjoy how she has the frame match the colors in the textile and this little baby sculpture in the window yeah, i like that i like that uh, freestanding sculpture it, it contrasts the wall base work very well and then of course yeah you got more stuff here actually affixed to the windows affixed to those burglar bars <laughs> you know the safety measures actually yeah. engaging the space and the architecture i love our window box okay here we're doing a little um part in our mess thing right so we're all an artist are in space so we have our studios here um this is how the sausage <laughs> is made yeah. so now we're coming through to elaine's exhibition we actually have a couple of elaine's in our home collection um so i'm really excited that we're showing this work so elaine's work also very much relates to our current um to 2020, I suppose. It's very um, 2020. It's very 2020. Both of these shows are extremely 2020 and very poignant. Very good for our times. Very good for our times. So um, in this exhibition, Elaine, uh, she's also working with found materials, um, things that are thrifted, uh, using yarn. So I really love the material choices that both of these artists are making. I think they relate really well to each other. Um, that idea of connection um, to both, you know, a history and then also to our current time. Also definitely longing in this work, I feel. Um, and some of the work was made before the pandemic. Some of it's made after. So it's interesting, you know, the masks uh, that she's making with these embroideries, overfound um, photos, kind of connecting people. Um, it, they, they honestly remind me of like appendages. They're, they're very much knitted appendages. And I think that um, the, the work, it, it engages the anatomy of the figures and the images and, of course, you know, the physical anatomy of uh, the objects that she's collected, the thrift store objects that, she, that she's acquired over time. Yeah, I also really love, I mean, I love color, right? So I also really enjoy how she's using the, the brighter colors with the found vintage um, photographs. And then these sculptures, um, again, using found found objects um, with the crochet work over them. Coming up on this, I really enjoy these ladies together <laughs> that are all connected. Um, yeah, those are really great. I like the fish in the corner, personally. That's my favorite. That's my favorite work from the show, the, the fish corner. Yeah, I think, so I, when I filmed this walkthrough, I definitely spent some time on that because it's honestly my favorite Elaine in this uh, show as well. These are cool. These are printed on textiles and then embroidered as well. Um, and then some smaller photos. So this is a really nice exhibition, I think, because it shows a lot of Elaine's 
you know, scope of work, sculpture, 2D things, older work and newer work. So it really connects her practice. Look at that, I love that fish, it's so good. <laughs> And Elaine has a lot of work, so we're kind of, you know, we're... It's expansive. It goes into the back area, the back gallery. Uh, typically, uh, we usually have a show in the front gallery and one in the back gallery, but like Melinda said, so much work. I mean, you can't really hem it in. And also, this is good for, you know, when we are open to the public, we do social distancing, right? And masks required, so you can really spread out in this show. But I love um, these installations that she has in the back. I mean, I think of them as installations with... Um, you know, both painting and sculpture, engaging the space and really connecting. I think the final one we're gonna look at here is this one. Sorry, this camera action is kind of hard to hold your arm up for five minutes. I should probably work out more. Um, but I really enjoy these little cacti figure um, and the painting and the embroidery, I think just as an overall, um, work it's it's really nice to see her her practices kind of merge in this way so that's our tour we hope you enjoyed it and please come visit us um, yeah definitely I mean both of the shows are I, I think they're they're extremely poignant um, I think that they are also very very suited for social distancing vote blue sky I mean you can see it from outside of course you can always come in to visit and you can see it from inside the window space um, and then there is the distance between by a lane um, front and back gallery a lot of work a lot of things to see um, so yeah you can easily practice your social distancing while seeing it with other people yes and we're open on Saturdays from 1 to 5 to the public um, and we also have studio spaces available if you are an artist in Houston and you would like to come join a friendly artist community. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.